The crypto market is down, but what is not down is the interest in DeFi and Grayscale just unveiled their Grayscale DeFi fund and this is big. And in this video, we are going to discuss why DeFi is here to stay, what's included inside of this fund and most importantly, how this news helps us as long-term crypto investors. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Grayscale just launched a DeFi fund. And right away, one of the biggest takeaways is that the index reflects increasing investor interest in decentralized finance. Institutions want DeFi. Grayscale caters to institutional clients. If they want something, Grayscale will create it. Well, what's inside of this DeFi fund? It includes Uniswap, Aave, Compound, Curve, MakerDAO, SushiSwap, Synthetix, Yearn Finance, UMA Protocol, and Bancor Network Token. And what you'll notice is that 49% is allocated to Uniswap. This is a very big percentage. And there is a reason. The reason is because since its creation, Uniswap has been one of the leading decentralized exchanges. Usually it's at number one, but right now it's actually behind Curve Finance, which is also a great project. You'll see Curve is number four at 7.44%. But not only that, there are big things going on right now in Ethereum, specifically with Uniswap. Uniswap not only is it one of the leading decentralized exchanges, but Uniswap also just launched on Optimism. This is a true layer two scaling solution. This is different than Polygon Matic, which is also a great project, but Polygon Matic is actually a side chain. Optimism is a true layer two scaling solution, which is more native to Ethereum. And when we look at Uniswap and Optimism, it's only an alpha launch, meaning this is only the beginning there will be some kinks along the way, there will be some problems. So it's not a you know 100% working product yet. It's still an alpha launch and Uniswap stated, please treat this as an early alpha product. Optimistic Ethereum is a complex layer two scaling solution still in need of rigorous battle testing and it will have some downsides such as downtime, both planned and likely unplanned, withdrawal times and also it will only work for select amount of assets, but it's only the beginning, but it will only continue to grow. This is just the beginning. Big players and institutions, they just realized this year the demand for DeFi, both from institutions and from retail. Why would people, let's say even regular average people, why would they want to keep a lot of their money in a bank earning 0.1% interest when they can earn, you know, four, five, six, seven, ten percent APR on their money? There are all these applications now and the big institutional players want to get in. And this is why we saw recently that Goldman Sachs believes that Ethereum could overtake Bitcoin. Will it? I don't know, but whether Bitcoin goes up or down, DeFi is here to stay. And for now, right now, most of DeFi is Ethereum. That will change over the years. There will be other projects jumping into the space, but I believe that Ethereum will be here for the long run. And in my videos in the past, I speak about how when I invest, I'm for the long term. I don't just say I'm for the long term, I'm actually for the long term, meaning when it goes up, I'm happy. And when it goes down, I sleep well at night. That's what I always say. I call it the sleep well at night portfolio. I own a ton of cryptocurrencies, but it's mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yes, I have other ones as well, right? For example, I'm a big fan of Cardano and I like these projects built on top of Ethereum, such as Uniswap, Aave, Compound, and Curve. And I do want to mention that if someone is very bullish on Ethereum, they should probably be bullish on these projects as well, because Ethereum is nothing without these, these protocols, right? These projects make up Ethereum. So during bearish times, even as Bitcoin or Ethereum decreases, I sleep well at night. But this is only how I look at it. You shouldn't feel the same way. Everyone is in their own unique situation. And when we look at Ethereum, what comforts me is knowing that every time Ethereum decreases, it comes back to its all time high and it surpasses it. And if we look at Ethereum's yearly lows, it is higher every year. Look, from 2015 up until 2021, every year, the yearly low is higher. Right now in 2021, this of course can go lower than 740. This was the price on January 1st, 2021, but we still have the rest, you know, other half of the year to go. Yes, Ethereum can continue to go down. 
And I'm not making this video to tell you guys, look guys, everything is going to turn around today or tomorrow. Ethereum is going to explode. But over the long run, history has shown me at least that Ethereum comes back stronger than ever and there is great news involving Ethereum. And I also want to clarify again that really this is about DeFi, but it happens to be that at the moment, Ethereum is by far the leader in DeFi, right? DeFi, I believe, is here to stay, which means that I believe for now, at least, Ethereum is here to stay, especially with all of their updates, right? This DeFi fund, Optimism on Uniswap, but also maybe the biggest one, Ethereum's London hard fork is expected to launch on August 4th. And this hard fork will include EIP 1559. This will transform the tokenomics of Ethereum. It is going to change everything. So they say August 4th, but this is crypto, this is blockchain, and this is Ethereum. Who knows, it probably won't happen on August 4th. I'll be very excited and happy if it does. And if you wanna know more about Ethereum and EIP 1559 and why it is so important for the long term, I did make a video, so I will leave a link for it in the description below. So we're just speaking about right now DeFi, and DeFi is mostly Ethereum, but there will be other projects entering the space. One that I am very excited about and I make a lot of videos about is Cardano, but I can't give it the same high probability of success as Ethereum at the moment, simply because there are no projects on it yet. Ethereum has a much longer history, and yes, there's problems with Ethereum and they're working through it. And in five or 10 years from now, if they don't fix those problems, then maybe Ethereum won't be here. But when I look at Cardano, although there aren't any projects on it yet, I am very excited and I am bullish on the project. And also Cardano successfully deployed the Alonzo White Hard Fork. This is the second step of their test net before they go live with smart contracts. There are a few steps in the test net. The first one was Alonzo Blue, and now we're here in the second one, Alonzo White. And smart contracts should be here by September time, but again, crypto blockchain, maybe it's October, maybe it's after that. And when that time comes, I do have a plan. And I also want to just restate when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum and these Ethereum projects, long term for me. So as the price goes down, I'm okay with it. I sleep well at night. Again, this is how I feel. You may feel differently, which is how it should be, right? You shouldn't just listen to some guy on YouTube and hear what he has to say and say, oh, I'm gonna do exactly what he's doing, right? Always think about your own unique personal situation. But when it comes to Cardano and the Cardano DeFi ecosystem, when that time comes and smart contracts launch, I do have a plan and I made a video about it. And the plan includes what I'm going to do, whether Cardano, or not Cardano, but whether crypto is in a bull market or even if crypto by that time is in a bear market. So if you want to learn about Cardano, the Cardano DeFi ecosystem and my investment outlook, go ahead and watch this video link right above, link also in the description below. And I wanna know your thoughts, right? What other spaces in DeFi should we be paying attention to? I focused on Ethereum and some of these major protocols that have to do with, with uh, lending and decentralized exchanges. But let me know about other DeFi platforms that we should be paying attention to. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.